Hey guys, so today I have the problem of my tailgate handle isn't working. I had a buddy that went to put something in the tailgate, went like this, and what ended up happening was one of the things that touches the rods ended up breaking, so only one side opens, and the only way to open it now is to pull on that rod right there. So what I went ahead and did was I went on Amazon and looked and saw this whole handle assembly over here and the cover for, I think it was $13, $14, and they're really nice quality, had really good reviews. So that's what I went ahead and did. The first step to go in and do this is actually take off the cover. And what you wanna do is pull back on it, depending on how good that kind of foamy uh, material that has uh, tape on one side is, it may be a little tough to get off, but you pull back and the bottoms slide up. So as you can see, those little tabs go up in there. There's clips here that are obviously broken on mine, which is normal on these. You can see on the new one where the clips are at. And then we're gonna remove those two rods right there and then the bolts holding it on. All right, so when you get up in here, what you're gonna do is push up on these clips and they pop right off. And then you can take the rod and pull it out and the same on that side. And now what we have to do is we need to drop the tailgate to get to these that actually hold the handle on. So after that, you guys are gonna have to drop the tailgate. Uh, once you drop the tailgate, you'll see these three bolts right here. Um, it is a half inch size. Either use a socket or I have just this uh, swivel head ratcheting wrench. Um, and you're just gonna have to remove those three bolts right there, it pops out when you pop the new one in and then tighten those bolts back up. A uh, quick tip before you guys install the handle is to make sure this green clip is on this side and that pink reddish clip is on that side. They go that way so they can fit into the actual rods. So this goes all the way over to here and this goes all the way over to there. Uh, it is an aftermarket part so obviously they just put them in the wrong place from the factory. So switch those around before you throw the new handle in if that is like that on your case. So once you've installed the handle and tighten down the bolts, you're gonna come up in here, take this rod and push it all the way back until it stops, and then push this clip all the way down until you hear it click right there. And then do the same on the other side with this rod. All right, so once you guys install those rods, give the handle a quick pull, and as you can see, everything works like it should so the next step is to actually clean this off take a little lacquer thinner or something and clean this completely off so the new handle can stick real well i like i said i would take lacquer thinner get all this stuff off and then uh you're gonna need a good place for this to stick so then take some rubbing alcohol make sure the surface is clean so this sticks nice and tight on there so I've cleaned up there, fine a little bit, gave it a good surface to mate onto. And then I'll show you with the old handle, you're gonna take these two clips down here and push them down up into there. And then make sure you took the little piece off so it can stick. And then you have one clip here, one clip here. And all you're gonna do is take it and push. Push a little bit on these edges so that stuff gets a nice good stick onto there. And then that's it. You got a new bezel, new handle, and everything works like it should. Another good tip is while you're working on this, to go in there and take some, uh, some normal grease or some lithium grease and grease that corner where it rotates. So if you have a squeaky tailgate, it'll solve that. It gets hot here in Georgia during the summer, so I do it at least once or twice a year. So everything stays good and it doesn't rust over there and uh, keeps it from making an annoying squeaking noise when the tailgate drops. So that's about it on the handle install. If you guys have any questions, feel free to let me know in the comments down below. And if you liked the video, subscribe. Thanks.